This book recounts the tale of Honorable Thane Icehammer and his demise. Long ago in ages past, Thane Icehammer of Cragwalla walked the land. He was a jovial and boisterous Nord loved by the people and trusted for his wisdom and good cheer. As with most legends that start like this, the good times didn't last. For Thane Icehammer, the change began when he returned from an extended hunting trip to the Yorgrim River Basin. He was no longer cheerful and loud, but had inexplicitly become dour and short-tempered. And as the months went by, his mood only became more foul and his temper more dark. What has caused such change in my husband Matron Icehammer demanded, and she turned to the Keepers of Kindness Grove for advice and assistance. The Keeper sent a young acolyte to investigate the situation. She spent a day and a night with Thane Icehammer, observing his actions, asking him questions, and trying to ascertain what had happened to make the Thane become so bitter and angry. Finally, after many long hours together, the acolyte noticed a dark stain spreading from Thane Icehammer's side and across his tunic. She ripped away his shirt. A festering wound that would not heal was carved into his side, the glowing tip of a spear jutting from it. He said his name was Hersene. The Thane wailed. He said I should never have hunted the poor creatures. But how was I supposed to know what they were then, his anger overcoming him? Thane Icehammer struck out and killed Kynes Acolyte. Devastated by her husband's actions, Matron Icehammer ordered the Cragwallow Watch to subdue the Thane. He fled, however, and they chased him to the ancient burial vault beneath the nearby mountains. The Watch, prepared to enter the vault after him, were called back by the Matron. No, she said sadly, I won't risk more lives to save a monster. Seal the vault. And with that, Thane Icehammer was entombed. Wounded by a Daedric Prince, but still alive. They say Thane Icehammer still stalks the chambers of the vault, fueled by an unending rage and the magic of Hersene's spear. This was the story of Thane Icehammer. He could be discovered within the crypt entitled Icehammer's Vault in Second Era East March, where adventurers finally laid him to rest. At this point he was entombed as a Draugr, with the spear fragment still inside him. This spear is understood to be the Daedric artifact called the Spear of Bitter Mercy One, which may be familiar to you. This spear appears in various locations throughout the timeline of Tamriel, appearing at the end of the Imperial Simulacrum of Third Era 398 within the Battle Spire, within the hands of Shiobareth in Third Era 427, and most recently, within the hands of sweet little goblin named Go, who accompanied the last dragonborn on his journeys across Skarm in 4th era 201. 